Hello guys, and welcome on back to She's Diabetic. For those of you who are new here, welcome. My name is Andrea, and I have lived with type 1 diabetes for over 20 years, and this is just a channel all about that. My life with type 1 diabetes, some tips, some tricks, some hacks, vlogs, that type of thing, but can't stress enough, it's just from my perspective. And as we all know with this condition, it's very individual. So if you're new here, welcome. If you are returning, of course, welcome on back. So a few months back, I made a video about carb counting, the very, very basics of the concept of counting carbs to dose insulin, and that being a helpful tool to manage your type 1 diabetes, which indeed it is. And I will link that video up above and down below for those of you who haven't seen it. But today's video is going to be kind of a level up on that. In that video, I just use very basic items that are packaged foods that have nutrition labels that we can look at and do the math accordingly. But what about those foods that don't have nutrition labels? One of the pitfalls of carbohydrate counting is that it gets taught with nutrition labels, and then we sort of become dependent on nutrition labels and packaged foods to know how to dose insulin when we're really, really, really heavily leaning into the carbohydrate counting concept. So how I personally carb count for things that don't have a nutrition label is very heavily reliant on an app called Carbs and Cals. I'm not sponsored, I'm in no way affiliated with them, I just think they are a fantastic app and resource for type 1 diabetics who want a carb count. I know in the US the app is $4.99 on the App Store, in my opinion worth every single penny, and I believe it is the only app that shows photos for portion size. There are other apps that you can certainly use, My Fitness Pal, you can Google Foods, you know, all these sort of things, but this app actually shows you the portion size on the plate. And I think that is just so, so, so valuable because I don't know how many grams or how many ounces or whatever, I don't know. But if I see a visual of it, I can say, oh yeah, I am having four boiled new potatoes and that is X amount of carbohydrates. So let's get into an example. I have here an apple. No nutrition label, just a really, really great and healthy snack. But how am I going to dose for this thing? Well, I personally would start, and I will show you here my entire process, I would start by searching for an apple on the Carbs and Cows app. I would then open up the concept of apple on the app, and here you'll see it shows me three different sizes of apple. Now this is a pretty big apple, so I'm going to go ahead and say this is the biggest one. And as you can see, it shows me 17 grams of carbohydrate. Easy as that. That's what I love about this app. It's so, so, so easy. It just makes it a little bit easier to dose for these kind of foods, especially when you have those visual portion sizes. I know you can also Google things, you can do things by weight on my fitness pal, that sort of thing, but for me the simplicity of this app and the visual aspect of it, which is really, really, really important to me because I'm a very visual learner and digester, <laughs> so that just makes it all really super duper easy for me. So let's go ahead and use another example. Another food that I love and often use to treat my low blood sugars when they're not too, too low is dates. So go ahead, search dates. I can see here the three different portion sizes, as you can see, and easy, 20 grams of carbohydrate in, it looks like there's about four dates there. And if I was having two dates, I could just take that in half and it'd be 10 grams of carbohydrate. You're getting the idea now. Another example, say you have a potato on your plate at dinner and you don't really know what the heck the carb content of that potato is. Let's search it. As you can see here, they have a ton of different potato options. I'm going to search the new potatoes. Those are those small little potatoes. I often boil them and here they have them boiled. Two of them, 10 grams of carbohydrate, and then it just escalates from there. So that just gives you a very basic example of how I personally am using the app. And to take it a little bit further, you can in the app build out different meals. So there was this like salad that I was obsessed with having all the time. And I just decided to take the time one day 
to weigh out the averages of all the ingredients. So I was like a really good diabetic, halo over my head, like weighed it all out. Not my normal thing. And I plugged it into the app. So you see here, I go to my meals and I choose salad and berries and I truly weighed everything out. I was like living on this salad for a while. And it had chicken, apple, salad, raisins, carrots, blueberries, and raspberries. So that, I plugged all into the app and I got the total carbohydrate content for that, which was 51 grams. And embolusing for that, that was pretty spot on. So I also love that aspect of it. And I think for me personally, something that is true about me is I tend to eat the same thing over and over again. First of all, it's easy. I know the carbohydrate content. I know roughly how it's gonna interact with my body and my numbers, but I think we're also just creatures of habit. So that can be really great in this app to kind of build out meals that you are having over and over and over again. So you're not searching, okay, I had this lettuce, I had this raspberry, I had this many blueberries. You can just build out that meal once, do the hard work, get the scale out, and then you've done it once and you can go ahead and make that meal on repeat and repeat and repeat and you don't have to do that weighing thing because it's saved in the app. So there we have it. I've tried to keep this as simple as humanly possible because it really is simple when you get right down to it. It takes a lot more work on the front end of things, getting used to it, but once you get used to it, and like I said, we're creatures of habit, we eat a lot of the same things over and over and over again. I know, for example, I grab one of these, it's going to be about 15 to 20 grams of carbohydrate, depending on the size of the apple. So I feel much more adept at bolusing for things like that now that I didn't at the beginning. At the beginning, I'd be looking on the Carbs and Cows app and really having to put a lot more brain power in, which I promise gets less over time the more you put this into practice. That concludes level two. For the third and final chapter of this series, I'm going to be talking about eating out. When you go out to a restaurant and you get placed a whole load of food in front of you, and that certainly doesn't have a nutrition label. Or does it? We will discuss that next. But for now, I hope you guys are very well. I hope you're keeping well wherever you are in this world. I hope this video helps you in some way live a happier, healthier life. But most, most, most importantly, and what I say at the end of all my videos, and I truly mean it, I wish you a happy, healthy mind with it all. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time.